Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are just working on one little project here. Uh, we're up at the uh, little farm, pond, puddle, whatever you want to call it. And I want to get a really simple overflow built uh, for the runoff from the pond. So over on that side, right over around in there, there's actually a little pipe that comes out of the ground and that pipe goes all the way up the mountain and actually over and onto the neighbor's property and it connects into a spring over there. We have like 100 year old water rights to that. And so that water comes all the way down here and then it drains into the pond. And then over on this side, it just kind of overflows over top of the bank. Now the problem with having it just running over top of the bank is that as that water you know, drizzles over there, it takes a little bit of the soil with it. And I don't know if you can quite see, but it's actually kind of eroded that down a little bit and the pond isn't quite as full as it could be. So what I'm gonna try doing is, I think I'll build this back up just a little bit, maybe bring it up four or five, six inches. And then I've got a little piece of pipe here and that's just a leftover piece of the inch and a quarter that we used for the water lines that are running around here. I'm gonna put that in there, put some more dirt on top of that, and then hopefully the water should flow through the pipe, which will keep our bank from getting eroded away as the water runs through. All right, so we got that kind of filled in there. I got my pipe sitting on top of there. I want to fill in over top of that a bit more. I don't want to go up too far because this section right over here is a little bit lower. And so if I bring that up too much, then it's going to start running over over here. So uh, I think that's probably okay. We'll, we'll get this part covered over and then I'll check back here in another day or so and see what it's looking like. All right, well, I think we'll leave it just like that and we'll uh, check back here in a couple days and see what it's doing. All right, so it's been just a little over two days since we were up here last. And this is quite a hike walking up through here. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty wet down through there and so I can't exactly get the truck or anything up but it actually hasn't quite filled up yet to the overflow uh, I'm kind of surprised so the good thing is it's not overflowing over here uh, but I kind of figured it would be all the way up to all the way up to there by now it's almost there um, it's come up several inches but we aren't quite there yet, I guess. So to give you some reference for uh, how slowly or, or quickly the pond is filling up, I, I've measured the flow coming out of the uh, the spring line over there before, and it was a little a little under a gallon a minute for the two days that it's been since we uh, we worked on on our little overflow here. That would be somewhere around, I guess. 2,500 to 3,000 gallons of water that's been added into here. There would have been some evaporation, but most of that's probably stayed in here. So it's actually added quite a bit of water to here, and it still isn't up to the line yet. So I guess we'll check back in uh, another day and see if it's see if it's running through there yet. I was kind of hoping it would it would already be going through there, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Alrighty folks, well it took about a week and one really good rainstorm to get this filled up to where our new little overflow is at. Uh, it's sort of interesting because what is coming out of the little overflow is way, way less than what we've got coming in here. So I guess it's probably just soaking into the ground. Uh, I have no idea what kind of soil is kind of under here. Ideally what I would want to do is if when I get around to doing work on this pond and making it a little bit bigger, I'd want to make sure that it's got like a good clay uh, bottom to it. 
and that'll hold the water in better so that it's not uh, leaking out elsewhere. But of course, for the time being, it's fine the way it is. The good thing is that I was a little concerned about is that it's not overflowing in a different area. It's pretty close. I probably only got maybe an inch or so, maybe two inches um, higher in this one little low spot right here but uh, it is going through our pipe. So since I know this is gonna work at the level it's at, I'm gonna take a minute here to pile a little bit more dirt on top of there just so that uh, once the cattle start getting back up in here, they aren't knocking that back out now that I got it in place. Get a little bit more piled up in there and then that'll be it for this project. Alrighty folks, well that is going to do it for this time. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time.